नमस्कार आई एम प्रदोष शर्मा एंड यू आर वॉचिंग रिथम इन अ कंसर्निंग मूव डेट अंडर स्कोर कैनेडास हिपोक्रेसी ऑन द इश्यू ऑफ फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच द कंट्री रिसेंटली ब्लॉक वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट ऑस्ट्रेलियन मीडिया आउटलेट्स Australia Today after it aired a press conference by India's external affairs minister S J Shankar and his Australian counterpart Penny Wong the press conference which discussed crucial diplomatic issues including Canada's unfounded allegations against India regarding six extremists was met with the swift and unjustified censorship by the Canadian government after which India has rightly condemned this action highlighting Canada's selective approach to freedom of speech especially when it comes to voicing opinions that are inconvenient to its political narrative this blatant move came on the heels of the growing diplomatic crisis between india and canada the crisis intensified when canadian officials led by pm trudeau made serious and baseless allegations that india was targeting sikh extremists in canada these accusations which were without evidence were aimed at undermining india's sovereignty and security concerns related to the khalistani movement Moreover despite Canada's claim to uphold free speech and press freedom its actions against Australia today reveal a stark contradiction just hours after the outlet aired Jay Shankar's press conference Canada blocked access to its content on social media platforms citing the sensitive nature of the coverage this was not a random move it seemed calculated and timed precisely after Jay Shankar discussed Canada's unsubstantiated accusations and the growing concern over the political space granted to Khalistani elements in the country India's Ministry of External Affairs spokesperson Randeep Jaiswal expressed surprise at the decision noting the hypocrisy of Canada in censoring content that merely presented India's perspective on the matter Jaiswal pointed out the Canada's actions highlight the country's selective approach to freedom of speech especially when the views of the other nations contradict their own political narrative Following the block Australia today on Friday issued a statement saying we remain steadfast in our mission to bring important stories and voices to the public undeterred by these obstacles It is ironic to see that rather than taking actions against Sick for Justice channel which promotes separatist and extremist sentiments is working without any restrictions and on the other hand an international news channel which advocates for an open and inclusive media landscape has been blocked by the canadian authority to say the least trudeau's handling of the situation has been disappointing instead of addressing india's legitimate concern over the safety of its diplomats and the growing presence of khalistani radicals trudeau has chosen to deflect and propagate unfounded allegations against india it is evident to see that canada's general elections are approaching rather than looking for larger interests of canadian diplomacy and international relations trudeau's interest has been bending towards the votes of anti indian voters including the six separatists this approach is not only harmful to the bilateral ties between india and canada but also risks destabilizing canada's relations with one of the world's fastest growing economies